Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back. And with me now, I have Carl William Lund. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So you've come to tell us all about your singing and songwriting. Yes, absolutely. Where did it all begin for you then? Um, I started making remixes and mashups of other people's songs originally. And that's how oh. I learned how to produce music with the software. Okay. And then years later, when I was 18, I taught myself guitar started writing my own songs and then applied the knowledge I had from the production to, to that and then started uploading songs online and making videos and it, it snowballed from there really, it was, it was really great. So something you always wanted to do as a child as well would you say? Or I, you I, I always later? had a passion for, for music um, mm -hmm. growing up in my house. My dad is one of my big influences whether okay. he realises it or not because our house was a fusion of Soul, Motown, blues, classic rock and roll. Who are your favourites? Um, well, obviously being from Liverpool, I love the Beatles. Mm -hmm. um, but it was all, it was all the, that old school stuff that my dad would play, I think, influenced me as a writer, a vocal style, mm -hmm. and to an extent, the production on my tracks as well. So he's, he's a big influence of mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what inspires you when you write? Well... I always write on real life experiences, whether okay. that's my own or another friend or family member. Mm -hmm. um, but the track I'm performing later, Lionheart, that was really strange because <laughs> I heard the track as I was asleep. And you know when you're at that stage when you're just about to wake up and you're still in between yes. sleeping, yeah. you know. And I just heard this track in its entirety and it, it started off as a cappella and then uh -huh. I heard this tribal beat and this driving bass and some lyrics and vocals it was and what did I, you do did you did you start writing and like well I, sh I opened my eyes and ran to my studio and just tried to get oh, everything <laughs> down and, and just try and remember it all and oh, gosh it i wrote recorded and mixed it in that day and it was just one of them songs that wanted to be written yeah and i think so it was all in there already you just need to yeah rest i think a bit for it to come yeah. out <laughs> i think as a songwriter if you are thinking too much about a song in, in, at the writing and composing stage. Mm. It's usually not right. The songs that are written really spontaneously from the heart, they're, they're the ones that, that kind of make the yeah. cut in the way. Okay. So that's how I, how I approach my songwriting. What usually. do you love the most about doing what you do? Um, well, usually it's just me in the studio on my own. It's, it's quite a lonely process actually because mm -hmm. I'm playing all the instruments on it, I'm programming all the sounds, and then when you get to the mixing and mastering stage, it's almost like letting your child go to school for the first day and, and just let them go into the world. It's quite a scary process, really, mm -hmm. especially when you've just been so involved in it all. But at the same time, it's so rewarding as well because you know you've put your heart and your soul in into that. And if people appreciate that and yeah. they, they like it as well and it brings them some peace and some healing, then that's... That means That's the world. Yeah. Now, I like I do like to ask my guests this question because I like having real people on the show, not fake people. And and I usually ask my guests about you know, like difficulties that you might have been through with with your dream, because mm -hmm. people sometimes watch shows and they they admire people and they don't realise tough times that they've been through and yeah. things that you know maybe got them down, but that how they got through that. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you've had moments like that when it's gotten tough and like you're thinking, oh gosh, this is really hard. What's kept you going? Well, the thing is certain friendships or relationships I've gone through, I've always struggled to articulate how I feel. I, I used to close off and not really speak up if I had a problem. Mm -hmm. So music was my way of healing. Music was my way of saying, I love you, or I'm sorry, or I'm so angry, get out of my life. <laughs> yeah. And the more I wrote, the more I recorded, the more I kind of was able to find my voice and be more confident and yeah. talk to someone if I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really helped me along the way. It's almost like a, a healing process, but at the same time, I'm, I'm doing what I love and, and gradually, building, yeah, well. gradually building a nice following, which is really What's great. What's the ultimate dream for you, would you say? Um, well, I really love people like Ryan Tedder and Sia who write songs for themselves. They mm -hmm. have a bunch of songs that they, they write as them, as the performer, but they also write for other bands and artists. And I think as a writer, if you can get into the head of another artist and pitch one of your songs and know how to sell your songs that way, mm -hmm. then that's what I'd like to do ultimately. I'd like to be in a studio 
write for other people, but also I love performing as well. I love being on stage, so it's yeah. trying to get the best of both worlds. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be performing Lionheart for us in just a moment. Yes. And I'm sure you're going to do great because I can see that passion that you have there for your singing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. so thanks very much for coming on the Thank show, you so Carl. Much. So now it's time to go to our performance by Carl William Lund with Lionheart. The chariot, take me to the star. The chariot, a beaten Lionheart. Tell me when we will strike the deal. The chariot. How you made me feel The chariot Take me to the start The chariot A beaten lion heart Tell me when We will strike the deal The chariot How you made me feel I'm running around as fast as I can I'm a man on a mission Not a boy with a plan 